The science behind X3, uh, there's, there's actually 16 studies. Those are all in the book. Uh, there's new studies on variable resistance all the time. And I think it's really important that we point to studies that we didn't do. These are all third parties, people. Some, some of the researchers I've met at conferences and most of them I haven't. So all of these 16 studies came to the same conclusion. Now, some of them use different combinations or different weight apparatus plus banding. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're holding X weight here and 1.5 X weight here, that is better than holding one static weight. Now we have X here and just about 5X here. So that's a more aggressive level of variable resistance. And you'll read in some of those studies that the degree of variance, as it becomes higher, the growth rate becomes higher. And that's why that decision was made. So there's 16 studies in the book. There's about six on the website because we wanted to keep it very readable. I also want to talk about one study that found that variable resistance doesn't work. So it went against the 16 other studies. And I want to explain that one. So this had a weight training group as the control. And then it had a variable resistance group that was training with just bands. So no bar, no, no nothing, just bands. And after we, we were puzzled by this study, because how could a study on variable resistance go against the 16 other studies? So it turns out they used uh, TheraBand, and uh, that's a rehab type, type product. And we found a specific model of TheraBand in the methods section of the study. And it showed that the highest possible resistance they could have gotten to at peak force was 14.1 pounds. So this was a study that was written so that variable resistance failed. But uh, yeah, it was um, very misleading, but the rest of them have very powerful results. And, and as I mentioned, the more aggressive level of the variance, the more aggressive level of growth. And that is why X3 is the highest degree of variance that anyone's ever really used. And there's hardly any variable resistance products even out there. And the ones that are out there will have something like X here and 1.2 X here and, you know, kind of meaningless.